Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Kathy. April Fools. Today is a fun day and it's April Fools Day so I'm going to read an April Fools book for you. It's called April Foolishness and it's one of our favorites. The boys and I love this book. That's why it looks the way it does because we have read it so many times that the pages are falling apart and it's taped, but it's still a good book to listen to. Are you ready? <clears throat> Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids had come for a stay and wouldn't you know it, they'd pick the right day. Look, there's Miss Kathy, she's grandma. Grandpa, oh grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Bound Bessie just stepped on a goose. The cows are, ouch! The cows stepped right on that goose. Imagine, said grandpa, good gracious, alas, and he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. He doesn't seem very worried about that, does he? Grandpa, oh grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. There they go. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, and he pops some eggs in the skillet to fry. I'm still not too worried. Grandpa, Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. They're in the tomatoes, oh hurry, don't wait. Look, those pigs are having fun in that tomato patch, aren't they? Imagine, said Grandpa, I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. They're running around in a smelly stampede. Goats can be quite smelly, that's for sure. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. And he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. He's still not too worried about all those animals getting out. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheep are all gone. Where'd they go? I heard that they're munching on somebody's lawn. Look at those sheep. What are they doing? They're laying and having a good time. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. Boy, they're getting a little upset. Grandpa's not listening. But Grandpa just grinned and he took out the bread and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. Then Grandma appeared. What a hullabaloo! Who's causing this noise? The grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. Ignore them. I say they're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow. It's not April Fool's Day today, but tomorrow. Oh, now he's getting worried, isn't he? Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed out the door. Grandma just smiled and she pulled up a stool. She nibbled his toast and she called April Fool. Oh look, they're all in their pens. Nobody got out. They were just tricking him. The end. Hope you enjoyed your book. Happy April Fool's Day.